Hi, and welcome to this short instruction video for the Responsibility Assignment Matrix template. Let me show and explain all the features of our new project management tool. This template contains two important methods used in the project, project management. First, RAM, which stands for Responsibility Assignment Matrix, known also as RACI, coming from Responsible Accountable Consulted Informed Matrix. And the second method, Work Breakdown Structure, for short, WBS. The template contains three sections, Settings, RAM and WBS. In Settings, we define people, their roles and list of possible responsibilities. Let's add here some main roles. and some new people. This shortcut, together with the name, will be visible in the RAM section later. Ok, so now let's go to our RAM section. Here we can see our previously defined names. Also in the corner here, we can see the legend that we have just updated. Now let's define some new tasks and reassign some of the new roles. I will remove these three last tasks by just selecting all of this cells in here and clicking delete and write some new task however i want to i forgot to input one extra step in here and i want to insert it here I can do it in a two different ways. First, I will insert the row. And I update the ID. Another way to add extra row is to copy and paste and then update the ID. So I can do like this. It is important not to use direct copy paste or cut and paste, but just copy and paste it always as values, just like that. The ID is important to create later the work break breakdown structure. Only the tasks that have ID will be visible later in the WBS section. Here we can see some dropdowns according to the legend above. I will just assign the tasks to some people. Ok, let's go to the next section and see what we got. The hierarchic tree is created based on those IDs that I have just described. For the printout purposes, I can also change the values in here, at the project name, responsible or a date. In addition, here 
I can decide what I will see. If I want to see a title, ID or any other combination. I can also see a person or the roles assigned. Some of the tasks may have many people assigned. The maximum visible number of people or roles per tasks that will be visible in here is five. And because of this, the text can be a little bit squeezed. So I can change the row and the column width or height as well as change the font size. So let's do it. I'm selecting all of the visible columns and just changing the size. This way, if I assign a lot of people to this task, we will see much more than in the previous form. Let's go back and change it. The really nice function in here is that we can highlight some of the tasks. So right now our filters are saying to highlight all of the tasks, but I want to highlight only the tasks where I have assigned Bell. As you can see, she is assigned only here. But for example, if I assigned her to the task, to the first task in here, the task will be still highlighted, even though I don't see her name in here, but the task will be still highlighted because the filters are working for all of the data that we have in the uh, REM matrix. So whatever I want to see, for example, just ID and the title, it still will be highlighted in here since I have decided which I want to see, which person or for example, in this case, the role that was assigned. Okay, I hope this was clear. This is all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check our other templates at www.someka.net.